learning how to rap. Yeah, find my name on the map. What the SLC software called. It was an app. Practicing what? Practicing no fap. Breathing oxygen out of a tree. I'm counting one, two, three. I do this, I'm smiley, I'm happily. I smile, work my life karaoke with glee. Up high, Santa coming down the chimney. Every day laughing, cause I wanna be funny. Oh my goodness, hit my bone. Yeah, I call it a weenie. This bone's called a weenus, right? So anyways, guys, this video is gonna be about how to rap better. Freestyle 24-7. I'm talking about, yeah, I want my name high up, high up in heaven. What the guy's name was. Hey, everyone, how you doing if your name's Kevin? We're going to be over there. What from Big Bang Theory named Sheldon. I do this every day. Witch stirring the spell. Yeah, like a fucking cauldron. And on top of that, when you guys are formulating bars, don't be afraid. There's this thing called analysis paralysis for entrepreneurs, right? So... For entrepreneurs and for anyone that's getting into a new skill. Think about it. Any new skill that anyone ever wanted to learn, everyone had imposter syndrome. Everyone has it. That's called analysis paralysis because you think, oh, I'm not a professional. Who the fuck cares? You're not going to get better if you don't do it, right? So analysis paralysis is literally the definition in, of what it sounds. You spend so much time analyzing rather than doing. More doing, less analyzing. And it's called paralysis because you're analyzing so much and overthinking so much that you paralyze yourself. What the fuck, guys? When I started rapping, I was ass. I would do rapping for my English class, right? When I had to do fun projects. I just did a fun rap for that. That could be a good place to start. When you guys are doing homework, when you guys are practicing things for English class, just do a rap. I practice rapping all the time in the sense that even when I'm doing schoolwork, like when I was in biology class, I would literally rap to um, practicing like for environmental lab. Don't scratch the scab. Uh, I want to be here. I don't want to be sad. I want to be crazy. I want to be mad. And what happened is I was able to work really hard and have fun and softly get into rapping. Because I think a lot of people think it's like one day you're a normal person, the next day you're a rapper. That's not how it works. I've been working on my raps since like forever, since I was 16, 17. So it's like, it's, it's, it's to rap 24-7 all the time and it's to not have fear of messing up. I mess, I mess up all the time. I'd be saying the same lick over and over and over again. Like, I'll be saying the same lick and in my head I'm like, yo, what rhymes with this word? I do not know, do not disturb. Body bending, body waving, hitting the curve. Yeah, blue kids, yeah, blue a smurf. Yeah, we're gonna hit that swerve. Hey, we're gonna go all night. About to blow up, about to ignite. Song 2008, dynamite. Everybody scared, yeah, everyone fright. All these dreams, yeah, I'm about to fight. We're gonna be right here, do it. I'm not wrong, all right. See, it's, like, even right now, even though my bars are not perfect and at the at the pinnacle, at the potential that I can accomplish, who the fuck cares? It's 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 music, it's music, it's for the soul, right? And obviously, because of Coachella and because of superiority, my aspirations is to be freaking nominee, Grammy nominee, whatever, not nominee of rapper of freaking century or whatever. And so if that's the case. In the same sense, in the, my previous video where I talked about how to get better at beatboxing, it's just to record, 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 review, re review, review, review. It's the same thing with rapping. Record, 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 review, review, review. However, I, when I initially began to learn how to write, like when I first start, started writing my own lyrics, life hack for everyone, in order to learn faster, is to write. So all my notes. However, to learn even faster, I doubled up on my pen. So I would hold two pens at a time. I would hold three pens at a time. I would hold even up to 10 pens at a time. And I would write my, my lyrics and bars with multiple pens so that I can see the bars over and over and over again. However, leverage, right, for all my entrepreneurs out there, leverage is input to output. My input is writing with 10 pens at the same time. My output is insane because I'm getting 10 times more writing 
at the same time as it takes to get one pen writing. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So if I'm writing with 10 pens at the same time, in the same amount of time it takes for me to write that with one pen, I'm getting, I'm writing it 10 times with 10 pens. So that's how I was able to cement so much information so much faster when I learned sales. I was able to cement so much information so much faster when I learned trading, when I learned about DeFi, when I learned about automation, when I learned about beatboxing, rapping, dancing, all these things simply from writing with multiple pens at a time because of leverage, input to output. I spent the same amount of time as everyone else did writing, but I got so much more out of it because I would write with two pens, five pens, 10 pens, multiple pens at a time, right? So on top of that, right? If we think about, hmm, why is it that rapping is this pedestal? Everyone puts rapping on a pedestal for some reason. It's because it's the ability to articulate thought. The most powerful humans in the world, not necessarily are, oh, I'm the world's strongest man. Shout out to Brian Shaw, right? The world's strongest man. Not necessarily are we lifting two tons, three tons, four tons, lifting cars, lifting Thor's hammer, all this shit, right? What we're doing though, is articulating what we're thinking into our mouth, into the world. That is the true superpower. The ability to articulate thought and communicate it and then able to influence others, that is the true superpower. So why rapping is so powerful is because rappers are able to articulate what we're thinking in a way that's like a spiritual slam poem, sexy kind of way. That's why I love rapping. So everyone, my name is SLC. This video definitely helps.